All right, well, welcome back everybody. So what we're about to do is jump on the tractor. There is, you know, we have 50 acres here, if you didn't already know. And back behind me, I have a neighbor who has uh, just under 40 acres. And I lease the rights to do hunting on that property. And has always been very friendly, very kind, lets me, you know, kind of just use it as if my, it's my own. And part of the deal is, well, I wouldn't even say it's a deal, something I've always done for him. He's got a road that goes in back there and a little pond that he fishes out of. So I've always tried to keep that road mowed out. I'm a little behind doing that this year. Should have done jumped on it, but just had so many other projects going. So I got to thinking about that today and I was riding home from work, just wanted to get some more seat time on the tractor. We mowed yesterday, but I just love being in that tractor. So that's what we're gonna to do today. I'm gonna to mow the road out back there. I also have a food plot back there, so I want to mow that out as well. I'm gonna start disking that in over the next few weeks killing everything off and I need to get that planted here this coming up month because uh, you know deer season will be here before you know it so that's kind of the plan today haven't been back there in a while so I'm gonna hook up to the root rake on the front of the tractor because I'm assuming there's probably trees and stuff down that I don't want to mow over so who knows what we'll get into probably push a little brush and things out of the way mow some thicker nastier stuff than you're used to seeing me mow and uh, we'll do that with the crony flail mower there it should handle anything back there just fine so let's get hooked up
right, well, the trail is all mowed out all the way back there. That turned out pretty good. Didn't have to push too many trees out of the way either. I'm surprised with all these afternoon thunderstorms. Tiffany's got supper to go in, but while I'm hooked up, I think I'm gonna make one pass around the edge of this food plot and kind of clean up some of this rough stuff that I don't get with the finish mower. And I may back into a couple spots that we tend to dove hunt out of. Otherwise, I don't know, I may, I may hold up on that. Probably wait until next month to get a little closer to the season. But I do want to go ahead and make one quick pass around the, uh, the edge, because if you don't stay on top of it, it grows all out on you. We're done we got that little chore knocked out plus i got my seat time on the tractor i just really enjoy being on the tractor sometimes it's you know i'm riding home like that i know i've got other chores to do but all i can think about is getting out there doing a little mowing disking something you've probably seen right there at the end my field the trails everything uh food plot they're getting grown up real bad with limbs are hanging over that's probably going to be a project this fall where i go out there and do a tremendous amount of pole sawing and chipping got to work on that a lot problem is a lot of those limbs are tiny so they're not going to really chip up much for me this is one of those cases where i wish i don't know if y'all ever heard of a company called lane shark they make one of those front mounted uh, hydraulic driven brush cutters that you put on your uh, your bucket there or i guess your front end loader because you take the bucket off but it goes up and down and can cut limbs sideways it can cut them all different kinds of directions neatest attachment ever i want one so bad i can't stand it a little pricey, but hey, I mean, you get what you pay for. This is one of those things to where I hope and pray that one day this channel grows big enough that maybe a company like that will contact me and say, hey, make a bunch of videos, we'll let you borrow one. Oh my goodness, I could probably make a video or two a week with how much pruning and trail trimming that I've got to do around here. So maybe one day in the future, if YouTube's generous to me and the channel grows, you might see me wind up with one of those. I could use one so much. So thank y'all so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the little mowing videos like this. You know, sometimes I don't make them dramatic with drone shots and everything else. Uh, so let me know. Some people actually prefer just go mow, show mowing. Don't do the music, don't do the drone shots. So it's nice to hear that. Although I am passionate about doing some editing. I really enjoy it. So again, hopefully y'all enjoy enjoyed the video. I'll be right back with another one. I'm not gonna say what I'm gonna do just yet because it might be another ride home like today. And you know, it's like, hey, I think I want to do this instead. So like I always say, thank y'all so much for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel.